Hi everyone, long time no see, I know, I've been gone for ages but I'm back now with another video and in this video I'm going to tell you my 10 points how to survive college and I went to college before and it was hard times, I know but hopefully by me saying the 10 points that I've used to survive college will help you out and maybe some of these you can actually use yourself and try to survive college a bit more if that helps for me personally, college was a hard time. I didn't have many friends and I did struggle with my studies as well, but obviously I survived somehow and I did decide to have some points that I will have during the college life and this helped me actually to survive it. So point number one, never, never give up on college. Never give up in general and never give up on what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, you're going there to achieve the grades that you want. Don't give up because you chose to go to college. Obviously, you don't have to go to a college. But if you chose to do it, carry on and never give up. I promise you, if you really want to do it, you can do it. So remember, never give up. Point number two. Always try to achieve the most that you can. I always wanted to try to achieve the biggest grades ever. But obviously, there's some subjects that you just cannot achieve because you either find them hard or you don't understand them or you don't have good teachers or many other things. But always try and try and try to achieve the best grades that you possibly can. Remember, you're there to study and to achieve the best grades whatsoever. And I promise you, the better the grade, the more opportunities you'll have in your life. Because I needed a medium grade to get to uni. And if I didn't get that medium grade, and I got a lower grade, I, would, I wouldn't get to uni. That's why it's important that you think about it first and try to achieve the biggest grades possible. Obviously, it's not always going to work because, you know, you're not always actually going to achieve the best grades. But please, try. And as try, I mean, give everything you can from yourself. And if you can't, then don't. It's fine. But try giving everything. Point number three. Try to make as many friends as possible. Don't stick with one group because in my situation I used to stick with just one group and all of the people from the group either left or they didn't come into college and I ended up being on my own because I didn't know anyone else from other groups. Try talking to everyone, include yourself in the middle of everyone kind of thing. Don't try to stick with the same people. Obviously at college it's hard because everyone has their own different groups but even that Try and just talk to everyone, even from on Facebook, try adding people, try talking to them and meet people from all the other courses as well. I used to meet people from like different levels and different ages and trust me, it was really good when you know people. Number four, try to ask for the answer and if you don't know the answer, try email the teacher. By that I mean, sometimes there are subjects that we don't understand and usually we don't ask the teacher because some people are shy and some people just don't want to embarrass themselves and act like they do understand. If you don't understand, try asking the teacher as soon as possible. I would personally do it after lesson. But if you don't want to speak to the teacher directly face to face because of whatever reasons, you can always email the teacher. I'm sure we'll have the teacher's email and I'm sure you can type. So. Please, try and get the answer, because if you don't get the answer, you only struggle. And I did that a lot, but I did manage to, man to email the teacher because I can't do it if I don't know what I'm doing. Rule number five. All you have to remember is that college is just college. It's not your whole life. It, doesn't, it does not It does affect your life a little bit, but if you don't pass, if you fail college, nothing's going to happen. You're not going to die. Nothing's going to happen. So remember, college is not your whole life. It's just college. Rule number six. Apart from going to college and studying, obviously you want to have some fun as well. So try going to parties, try to relax yourself, try to meet your friends and go out for a meal, try to celebrate every month or something that you completed specific thing, like a specific piece of coursework, or just celebrate that you can survive college. I used to have peace updates, which when I failed something, I would go party about it and get really drunk. <laughs> Whoops. To kind of get the anger out of something else, on some, so, uh, get the anger out on something else, and just start all over again. It's good because you can relax a little bit as well, and then kind of take your anger out, and you'll be fine. 
So yeah, try to have fun as much as possible. But don't forget, you're there to study, so don't fail what you do. Number seven. During my college life, there used to be times when I used to be on my own, because you're not always going to meet friends, and people don't always accept other people because of whatever reasons. You know, people are judgmental, and they need help, and society is just ugly. But whatever it is, for whatever reason, don't worry, because they're just missing out, firstly. Secondly, they're too boring for you, that's probably why they don't want to be your friend. And thirdly, I don't have the third reason. But yeah, remember, just because you're on your own doesn't mean you're stupid or you're ugly or you're someone else. It means just because they definitely need help and selfish and things like that. Because obviously, we're all humans and I don't see why no, we shouldn't be friends all together. But the resolution you can have from this point is that you can spend time on doing other things such as always always and always try listening to music because music can change all of your moods and make you feel so much happier music used to get me into my own little world and I used to just think about that world that sounds weird but music can get you into your own little world no worries nothing just calmly dance and yeah music is good. Apart from that you can find library, you can start doing your coursework, you can maybe go watch some movies on YouTube, whatever. Just don't worry that you're on your own. Point number eight. Just like I was saying, don't worry if you don't have any friends. Try and meet other people and make most of it. Find a hobby that will interest you. You can go to different clubs, probably at college. I used to sometimes even sit in my car and eat my lunch in my car. But remember, just because you're on your own, don't mean no one likes you. Number nine. To me, college was a giant fashion show, to be honest. If you're like that, and if you like makeup and clothes, you can make the most of it and make yourself look good. I know getting up in the morning, it's hard. I didn't always get ready for a college in the morning, but you can make most of it and wear nice clothes that you want to wear and have nice makeup and get people jealous. <coughs> Joking. And the last important thing, thing number 10, be nice to everyone. You never know what they're going through. And if you want to know, you have to walk in the shoes and then you find out. And probably you have no idea that it's harder than you actually think. So be nice to everyone, make them smile, make yourself smile and stay in touch. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye!